Welcome back. If you've been in Jefferson Park recently, you've probably seen this. It's a 20-foot rotating Christmas tree poking through the two-story house. The question many of us have is, how does this work? <laughs> Homeowner Dan DePape isn't revealing his secret, but he is joining us now to talk about it. Dan, thank you so much for joining us. I know your family is there with you. So where did you get the idea for this? Uh, I got the idea. I'm a uh, real estate agent with Dreamtown, and I've seen many homes, and I've seen one similar to this out in Lincolnwood, and apparently that's pretty popular. And I took the idea from that, but I added a twist with the rotation. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're not going to tell us how it, you did it? Oh, it's uh, it's uh, Christmas magic dust, <laughs> uh, same way that the uh, reindeer, same way the reindeer fly, <laughs> and now uh, we get you know Christmas done. I will say this is a public service announcement, though. I've seen a lot of comments on Facebook. Do not put a hole in your roof to do this. There's not a hole there, but it rotates. Oh, wow. Okay, so if you're not going to tell us how it works, I get that. <laughs> I will preserve the secret. But, like, is it a costly project that you went through here? I, yeah, and about two years ago is when I decided I was going to move forward with the idea. Um, I would say materials, you know, if you're going to start from scratch and not use anything that you already have, which is kind of the case because you do go with larger ornaments, you're going to be buying a larger tree. It's between one and $2,000. Okay. Wow. Could any small animals get caught up in the, the <laughs> motor there? I'm a little concerned if you have a cat or something. You know? <laughs> a small no, child, I, you know, get retrieving a gift. <laughs> no. I, uh, no. Okay. I, okay. I okay. We just wanted to say. Okay. Uh, we mentioned you've got some family members there with you. Give us an idea of what the reaction is from family, friends, just people coming on by. Uh, all the feedback I've been getting was positive mm -hmm. online. I have met people here out when they're looking by, uh, just bumping into them, and it's been really positive and enjoyable for them. Well, uh, we are so glad that you joined us. And again, I, I, do any tips for maybe people at home that ne aren't necessarily going to do this, but maybe something you learned when you were putting it together? Um, something that I learned when you're putting it together, uh, go with garland. I put tinsel on this tree. Oh. <laughs> uh, I would not put tinsel on another tree like this. Um, and that, that's about it. And, you know, they do sell rotators. People are asking, how do you okay. get the lights to rotate with the tree? You can look that up. Okay. Give me an idea why you thought it was so important. To, I mean, you went big this year. <laughs> I, I enjoy Christmas. I always have. Um, since I was a child, I used to set the Christmas tree up at our home growing up, and I continued it av as an adult. And I usually I make a nice tree, but, you know, I, I think I make one that looks beautiful. But this time I thought I would just go big. Well, and, and maybe if the Bears had that mindset, you know, um, <laughs> we'd have a better season because I see you're a fan there. Uh, thanks so much. We appreciate yeah, you joining I us in Jefferson Park. Thanks, Dan. Happy holidays. Thank you for Merry Christmas. Me.